Adding announcement bars to the top of your WordPress posts and pages is a really great way to promote products or even communicate important information to your online visitors. So in this video, I'm gonna show you why Thrive Themes makes it so quick and easy to build announcement bars and then deploy them exactly where you need to across your WordPress website. Matt from Thrive Themes here, and I bet you've been seeing more and more websites using announcement bars lately. And that's because announcement bars are a fantastic and effective way to get time-sensitive information to stick out. So let's talk about a few of the reasons why you might wanna use announcement bars across your website. So reason number one is you might want to advertise an upcoming event or maybe showcase a contest you have going on or even promote a time-limited product launch. And if you've been following Thrive Theme for a while, you know that's a common strategy for us, especially when we launch one of our premium courses. And we even throw in a countdown timer to really give that element of urgency to our announcement bars. Reason number two is you might want to promote a seasonal or limited time sale. And so this example from Udemy, they are promoting their computer learning month online courses. So this is a great way to get those sales front and center to your customers. Reason number three is you might want to promote a particular product or service. And here's an example of that from the Decathlon. Reason number four is promoting your company's charity or referral program. And here's an example of that from Athletic Greens. Next, and especially if you're a local business, announcement bars are a great way to communicate any changes to your operating hours so customers know exactly when you're open. And finally, a very common way we're seeing announcement bars being used recently is to notify visitors about impacts to service due to things like natural disasters or even global pandemics. And here's a simple example of that from Punch Pass. Now, you may have noticed that most of these examples were pretty simple when it came to their design. Solid background color, text, and one or two links. Now, you can build that, of course, with Thrive Themes, but if you think back to the Thrive Themes example with the countdown timer, you can do something much more fancy too. The biggest decision you need to make when it comes to building announcement bars with Thrive Themes is whether or not you want your visitors to close the announcement bar. This is going to determine which Thrive Themes tool you should use to create your announcement bar. If you want visitors to be able to close the announcement bar, we're going to suggest that you build it as a sticky ribbon form inside our Thrive Leads plugin. If you don't want your visitors to be able to close it, then we're going to suggest that you build it as part of your header inside Thrive Theme Builder. So let's continue by learning how to build a simple announcement bar design, first as a sticky ribbon inside Thrive Leads and then as part of your header in Thrive Theme Builder. So here we are in the Thrive Leads dashboard and let's get started building that simple announcement bar design as a sticky ribbon inside Thrive Leads. So the first thing we'll do is add a new lead group and I'll just title it simple announcement bar and add the lead group. Okay, from there, what we can do is add a new opt-in form type and we're going to select sticky ribbon or ribbon. Okay, from there, we'll click this add button and create a form. I'll just call it simple one. And then we can click the edit design button. Okay, for this example, I'm going to model something very simple like punch passes announcement bar where it was just a background color and text. So I'll select the blank template and load that up. Okay, from there, let's modify some of the margins and pad padding. So if I go into the Thrive Leads element, I can uh, bring its margins and padding down to zero and do the same on the background section. And then what I want to do is make sure the background section takes up the entire width. So in the main options bar, let's just click the stretch to fit screen width option. And then we'll make sure the content covers the entire screen width. And now we see the background section is indeed going from screen end to screen end. Okay, from there we can change the background color. And I'm going to use my brand color here that I have set up on the website. And then also I'm going to change the close button. So instead of black, I would like to make it, instead of this gray color, I'd like to make it white. 
And I would also like to change the border color from black to white here as well. And we can even do something like change the icon size from 14 to 12, and then maybe change the margins from eight, or the padding rather, from eight to five. Let's then highlight the background section. And in the main options tab, let's make sure the minimum height is something a little bit thicker, say 60 pixels. And from there, let's add a text element. And we can drag and drop that inside the background element. We can center it. If we highlight the background section, we can vertically uh, center the positioning. And then we, let me move this bar here. So we can change the text from this gray to white. So it really pops a little bit more. We can change the font size to maybe something like 24. And then we can change the text to be something more like, so then we can just the click here, we can change that to actually be a link. So I'm just going to select a random one from my website. Okay, and if that linking changes the color of your text, just highlight it and you can change it back to white and then maybe even underline it perhaps even bold it to make it stick out more. Okay, so now what we need to do is mobile optimize this simple design. So we'll click on the tablet mode. And here, I think what would work best is if we just take the text element and change its font size to make it a bit smaller. Okay, looks great. Uh, let's just check to see if we need to change any of the Margins and pixel settings, looks fine. Should be, should still be vertically centered, which it is. And finally, let's look at tablet. Um, it looks like we could change the text size a little, but more, it would be better if we added a little bit of margin to the, or padding rather, to the background section, say 10 pixels on the left and 10 pixels on the right, maybe even change the text size to be a little bit smaller. Actually, because our close X button is in the way, we can make a few modifications to get it out of the way. So if we highlight the icon element, click on layout and position and then advance, let's click this upper right corner uh, option. And now with it, because it's on the absolute positioning, it's it's referencing itself from the right corner. So let's see if we can just change that a little to have five pixel margin on the side for it and five on the top. And now it's out of the way, looks great. So now just make sure you save your work. And that's how simple it is to create one of these simple designs as a sticky ribbon inside Thrive Leads. Let's head on over to the Thrive Leads dashboard to show you your display and targeting options there. So here we are in the Thrive Leads dashboard for this particular sticky ribbon design. And I think it is best to position it at the top instead of the bottom because we want it to be an announcement bar. We want it to display all the time and we want it to trigger immediately on page load. The last thing to do now is to go back to the main Thrive Leads dashboard find our new sticky ribbon design, drag its lead group up to the top of the list. From there, we can open it up. And what we need to do is tell it what pages and posts it should fire on. So here you can set your display settings. And if we want it to be truly site-wide, then we can select front page, all of our posts, all of our landing pages. You may have certain landing pages that you don't want this to display on. So if that was the case, you wouldn't check that and you would come in here and designate which exact pages you want it to appear on. The blog index, let's say the error page and the search page. Once you're happy with those settings, click save and close. And then just make sure to turn the design on desktop and mobile. And let's see if that displays now. And there it is. Once you have your lead group set up and activated, it should display like you see here. And again, because it's a sticky ribbon, we have the close X that our visitors can press and it will go away. 
Now let's take a look at how we can build this in Thrive Theme Builder so visitors don't have the ability to close the announcement bar when it loads. So here we are in the Thrive Theme Builder dashboard and let's go ahead and click edit on one of our theme page templates so we can get busy building this simple design inside our header. Now first, if you're interested in learning more about managing headers in Thrive Theme Builder, check out the link I'm gonna put in the information box here because it is going to lead you through everything you need to know about building and customizing headers in Thrive Theme Builder. But the way I would go about adding an announcement bar to the header design, especially my default site-wide header design here, is I'll click on the header element and then you can see my default header is selected. So I'm gonna click edit and this, these edits I make are going to apply to that global header design. Now, from there, I'll go in and select a background section element and drag and drop it onto my header. From there, I'm going to make sure that it stretches to fit the screen and then the content covers the entire screen width. From there, I'm just going to do a little work cleaning up any margins and paddings here. And if I highlight the header element, I'll also take the padding from the top area and add some padding, add some margin rather, to, to the bottom of the background section. From there, let's go ahead and modify the width of the thickness of the header, that height. So we'll go from 150 minimum pixels to say 60. So that looks more like the sticky ribbon we just designed. Next, we'll change the background color to match my branding color. And same thing, I'll take a text element and drag and drop that into the background, element, background section element. Let me center it and I will change it from gray to white text. Maybe increase the font size a bit. And now I'll write that same bit of copy that I had before. From there, I'm going to add my link. And if it changes the text color like this, then I just need to go back and modify the color of the link and maybe underline and bolt it as well. Now let's just mobile optimize the design. So we'll change the font size down a bit and we can do the same thing on mobile. I'm seeing this little bit of padding in the header element. So changing that to zero should get rid of it. Okay, so now our announcement bar header design is ready to go. So I'll click done and save. And when I preview that, you can see that the announcement bar is part of the header and I cannot close it with the X like I could the sticky ribbon design. Now finally, let's say you wanted to step your design up a notch. How could you do that? Well, that would be easiest to do using the sticky ribbon in Thrive Lead. So if I go back to my simple announcement bar and I open the Thrive Leads editor, I can actually click on this cloud icon to change the template. And I can look through dozens of conversion fo focused designs we already have and if I select this one, that actually looks pretty close to my brand colors. So as you can see, you already have a template that's loaded up and has gradients and matching color designs. You just need to change the copy. Let's go ahead and change the text size a little bit. And say we can change, um, give a highlight color to the text. Let's use this green color again and change the target button URL to go to your shop. From there, let's just change the button copy to say shop now. And there you have a more advanced announcement bar header design that is promoting a limited time sale. So that's a quick look at how you can build some different announcement bar designs on your WordPress website using either Thrive Leads or Thrive Theme Builder. If you don't have these tools installed on your site yet, make sure to check out the links below so you can get your copies today. And don't forget that we also offer our Thrive membership, which gives you access to all our tools for one insanely low annual fee. Well, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.